So on my vlog channel, I was showing the playroom, which is like to the left over there. And I was talking about how I manifested my baby. If you guys don't know, um, I had I had been told and from trial and error that I can have a baby for since I was like 25, I think they told me. And definitely tried and put that to the test and um, could never could never get pregnant. When I was in a relationship, I tried out of relationships I was like whatever I just wanted I really was that person just like wanted a baby and um if I'm being completely transparent I just like wanted a baby you know what I mean like I was just like hey however I can get a baby I want a baby now fast forward to me in 2022 or 2020 finding Moses and finding her father and like having the perfect dad and like the right father and the right person like it makes such a difference when I think back about the times that I wanted to get pregnant by you know, a boyfriend or even by like people that we weren't seriously dating. I was just like, Hey, if I have a baby, like, you know, that's, that's great. You know, I want a baby. So not really knowing the person, no judgment. Hey, like there's people who choose to have babies as single parents or just by themselves. And I think like more power to you. Um, and yeah, like there's no judgment if you, if you haven't found the perfect partner, you just, if you want to have a baby by yourself, like I, Again, I was that person. I think I kind of went about it the wrong way. Like, I don't really know this person, so if I have a baby, like, I'll keep it. I don't know. Maybe it's not wrong. I don't know. Who am I to judge? Um, literally, who am I to judge? No, 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 no room to judge anyone. But I, yeah, I tried for years. And then I got in a relationship at one point. Tried there. Kind of get pregnant. Tried the HSG test, which ultimately, spoiler alert, helped us get pregnant with her. Um, but I really just thought it was, like, never going to happen. Even with my now husband, we, are you okay, honey? <laughs> with my now husband, we tried and um, for about a year and a half before we got married, literally a month after we got married, got pregnant with the help of the HSG test. But we tried for about a year and a half and like actively tried, you know, like counting it out, ovulation, all that stuff like that. We would take pregnancy tests and they'd always come out negative. He'd, he'd be like filming me after like, okay, this is the one. And like, eventually we just stopped because it was, it's heartbreaking when you want to get pregnant and you can't and everything's negative. You're just like, okay, it's another negative test. Fast forward to January of 2022 of this year, I take a pregnancy test without him because I was just like, well, you know, we have a ton of I might as well take one. Finding out I was pregnant. Okay, this one just, <laughs> it's like, mom, I'm just, oh my God, how cute though. She's like, mom, I'm just trying to sleep, okay? So got pregnant. And you know what changed? Three months prior to us getting married, I like had to de-stress myself because I was always stressing myself out. I was always giving myself anxiety. And I had to go through a spiritual journey. And part of that spiritual journey was manifesting more or less, right? Every book I read, whether it be Joel's team with Christianity, The Secret, um, like whatever book I read, it was all about manifesting Wiccan. I studied Wiccan and Pagan and the origins of it, which is all about magic and putting it out there in the universe. And it was all about controlling your thoughts, right? If you think something negative, negative things will come. If you complain about things, the universe will give you more things to complain about. But on the flip side, and I started with like money affirmations. I started thinking about money flowing in. And guess what? Money flew in because I was like, oh man, I'm losing this, I'm losing that. And guess what? The more I focused on what I was losing, the more stuff I started losing. The more I started like feeling money's a flow, being thankful for the money I had. Every time I paid bills, I was thankful. I would thank you for the money to pay these bills and thankful for this job. And then more stuff started coming in. So I started with money manifestations, right? And I thought, okay, this is great. This is all I need magic for is money, magic money, money from the universe. It's great. But then it's like, okay, what else can this work with? work with babies. So I was told for so long that I couldn't have babies, right? I don't get pregnant, so I tell people. Literally, right? Because guys would be like, are you on birth control? I'd be like, no, but guess what? I can't really get pregnant. I'm pretty much infertile. Like, I just I can't I get pregnant. And like, that was the truth. That was the truth. But also like a lot of guys that didn't know me, I was like, you're just gonna like believe me, but it was the truth. And um, they, they're like, okay, well, if you say that, I'm gonna get pregnant. And um, so I, I would just say that. I would say it out loud. I would say it to people I was in serious relationships with, I'd be like, yeah, it's just like really hard for me to get pregnant. And it was. Same thing with my, my husband. Like he, 
You know, I was just like, it's just really hard for me to get pregnant. And he was, I would say, of all the people, the most cautious. So at the beginning, like, even though I said that, he was like, mm, we're still going to be like, you know, overly cautious about this, which I, you know, I respect that, right? Like, he didn't know me. He's like, you know, let's get to know each other before we have babies because I want to have babies right away because I just, you hear about this biological clock and this, you know, female body. And so you're just like, oh, I need to have kids now. So I was, you know, I was getting up there. I was 31 when I met my husband. So, um, yeah, and then it wasn't until we, like, officially started dating that we started trying and all that stuff like that. But I would say the same thing, like, I can't have kids. And guess what? The, the, when you say that, that's all the universe hears. The universe just hears, I can't, I won't, it's hard, won't happen, impossible. And that's what I started believing. So when I started using manifestations and affirmations and all that stuff like that, I was like, you know what? I'm going to start being thankful I think this was in the secret being thankful for what you have now yes but also giving thanks for what you want as if you already have it so instead of being like i'm thankful for my future babies i'd be like no i'm thankful for my daughter i'm thankful you know i would say i would say those and really affirm it really visualize visualize is a big thing i would visualize what we would do together i visualize her room i sat in her room for most of the meditations which is now her nursery and i really started giving thanks for our family and for my daughter, who's just an angel. Um, and so that was about a few months prior and I just, I never gave up hope, you know? I um, wasn't stressed about it. And as soon as we got married, it was weird. Like this whole pressure, I was just like relaxed all of a sudden. I don't know what it was. I don't know if I was like, you know, scared he was gonna leave or the wedding would be called, I don't know. You know, just commitment stuff in general. But something did change. A lot of people are like, it's just a certificate. Marriage is just a certificate. And like, again, respect if you don't get married. I can see that point. Marriage can change a lot of people. I've seen it happen with my own family. You know, people get married and they change. And it's like, yeah, I, I understand that. But for us, it changed like for the better. Like, I don't know. For me, it was a commitment thing where I was like, wow, this is like, we are committed. We are committed. We, you know, we're in this, right? And him too, he became like this amazing, like even more so, like he's already very giving and loving. He's very acts of service. That's very his thing. He's just very, you know, people joke and they mean it in a mean way, but whatever, like, oh, that's her assistant or whatever. Cause he would just be so accommodating and boy, he still is by the way, he still brings me breakfast every morning in bed and takes care of our daughter, you know, like all this stuff like that. And he just really steps up and when we got married, he just like did that stuff even more. And now as a dad, like, oh my God, he just steps up so much. Like it's literally like we argue over who like go changes her in the middle of the night, who feeds her. Cause she's just, just so fun. Honestly, that's kind of fun. I'm not going to lie. I don't want to say that in like a way like diaper changing is so fun, but like it kind of is because she kind of just like loves that time. She's in her nursery. She's smiling. She likes to be clean. We like to clean her. So I don't know. Anyways, I don't want to be one of those like annoying parents. I was like, everything is beautiful. Her poop smells like flowers. I mean, it doesn't, but it's fun. It's fun to change her. Anyways, I know that's not the case for everybody. And like I said, like the first, well, actually I said this in the vlog over there. The first couple weeks of me being a mom, I was awkward. I didn't know what to do. I was scared to change her diaper. Um, but I truly believe that. Anyways, the whole point of why I'm standing in front of this tiger telling you guys this story because I was saying it in there, is she is a water tiger. She's born here of the tiger, which is 2022. And um, we had this tiger bedazzled um, in 2021. And like, it's so weird. Like we didn't know the Chinese New Year of the tiger was coming. We don't really have anything drawn to tigers really, but this was, this was blinged out. This was in the center of our house, our center of our walkway when you walk in. And the tiger is like our, the like heartbeat of our house. And now she is the center of our lives <laughs> and she is a water tiger. So we think by having this tiger here, we kind of like manifested it because originally this tiger was supposed to be upstairs. Um, it also was like the most expensive thing I bought in 2021. Like this tiger was like ridiculously expensive. And for what? Like, honestly, I mean, it's beautiful. Don't get me wrong. Every stone was like hand glued on there and I love it. But it was kind of like, why did we have this tiger? Like, again, I don't have any attraction to tigers. They've never been my thing. But now they're everywhere in our house, and I'll show you guys in a second. Now we have tigers literally everywhere, and this is our little water tiger babies. I have two baby tigers by me now. Oh my gosh, she's so gorgeous. Okay, her face right now. Are you guys seeing this? There's the tiger right there. Okay, so you see my face right now. Oh my gosh. The 
the cutest. You just stare at your baby all day. Um, so yeah, we have tigers are like our thing. Plus she's a little tiger. She's always like, oh, she's hungry and she makes like growling sounds instead of crying. She's literally a baby tiger. But um, the fine thing is, I believe this sealed the manifestation for a baby. When we, when we met, I put a little house emoji by my name because I just wanted him to be like, Trish is my home. I know it's like super cheesy or whatever, but I always wanted him to come over. It was just during quarantine. I wanted him to like be like, this is home. Like Trish is calling, like home is calling. I don't know. It sounds like weird, but whatever. So I put the house in his phone and literally nine months later, we bought a literal dream house, like a house that like, I don't think either one of us could have done without each other. Like it's his dream house. Um, we both were like financially blessed that year. He was a really good saver. Like it was really crazy. We got this house and the down payment. Cause I never had trouble making money. I've always had trouble saving money. Hence why I can never afford a down payment by myself to begin with. But we got this house and the house emoji was in there. So once we got the house, I was like, you know what? Let me put a baby emoji. Look, you know what? Let me put the baby emoji in there. So I put the baby emoji in and that was, I think I had, there was a ring emoji in there at some point. I don't know the timeline, but I put the baby emoji cause we got engaged and bought the house at the same time. Then I put the baby emoji in there and literally like literally a year later I got pregnant although I didn't know until a year and a month later but it was pretty crazy because I was always in there and like when I would call him or I'd pop up on the phone um the little baby emoji would be there and of course I put in the same for mine I put like a baby emoji so I know it's like kind of silly and people like you know they think they have all these rules for manifestation okay they're not doing manifestation right that's not right that's not how you work for things that's not how things happen that's how the universe happens what I know to be true in my life is anything that I've wanted and could visually see for myself like I could see it happening has always happened I always use this like example it's like so so stupid but it's like literally like I manifested this in my life was when I was younger I always wanted to be like famous right I love Britney Spears I love Anna Nicole I don't know if I wanted to be a singer or a reality show star I am neither. but like they didn't have social media back then but I was just like I just want to be famous I want to be known where I go out and people like stop me for my pictures and I would like practice posing when I was like eight I'd be like doing like Britney's like the big smile big nice to meet you thank you I would literally do that I would act it out right and my life now which I love <laughs> um is just is that it's just people like coming up and like asking for pictures and with TikTok it's like a whole new generation of like young kids coming up to me which is like super cool like teenagers still think I'm cool which is awesome and I hope she thinks I'm cool I'm a teenager but I'll have to tell her like teenagers used to think I was cool I don't know if our teenage friends are gonna think I'm cool. I don't know if they're gonna know who I am, but we'll see. But now it's still teenagers coming up and I'm like, this is what I've always like wanted. It's so funny. Without like realizing, like, I don't know, like all of it, you know, I don't know. It's kind of weird, but it's cool. Like it's cool. That's why I'm always grateful. I'm super grateful when people come up to me. It happens all the time and I love it. And like, yeah, sometimes it can be like a lot, like if I'm at like Disneyland or something, but like, I'm always grateful and I never want to like not be grateful for it. Elvis Presley actually had a quote where he's like, I think it was like when people are like talking about you, it was more about like tabloids. He's like, he goes, I'd be worried like when people, oh, maybe it's about, maybe it was about people asking for pictures. He's like, I'm worried when people stop coming up to me because people are like, do you ever get like annoyed by like, or not annoyed, but like, is it ever too much when people like talk about you or come up to you? He's like, I, I'd have to worry if people stop coming up to me and stop talking about me. And I thought that was interesting. Something along those lines, you could look it up. So <laughs> I do really do believe that visualizing and manifesting works. I think it works both ways because like if I I used to call myself like trash, I used to say like, oh my God, like I deserve being cheated on, like I did this, this, and this or whatever. And like when you say that stuff, like I really do believe the universe hears you and like attracts more of that. So like the minute I was like, you know, I'm in control of my thoughts, I can control my emotions, my thinking, all of that, which was helped through meditation. And then I started like visualizing, right? Like I was like, okay. And then I was like, oh my gosh, I'm losing this, this, and this. Once I started focusing on what I have and what's coming to me and like what I want and like what is, you know, being thankful, like it really makes like such a difference. And I feel like she's my ultimate manifestation because it was years that I went trying, not trying to get pregnant, like literally all the time, like all the time. And and I would even say before 25, before I even knew, like I was seeing this guy for a couple of years that was just not, we, there was no, you know, whatever involved, like and I never got pregnant from him or anything. And I really just thought like, and I wanted like, like I said, even before 25, like I wanted to have babies. Like I, like, you know, I just, I wanted to be a mom, um, from an early age and it really had nothing else to do with just me like wanting to be 
a mom, I guess. I don't know. And I always thought I wanted to be a young mom. And again, I don't think there, I think that's great if you are a young mom, because again, if I had it my way back then, like I would have been a young mom, but like, you know, I'm an older mom now and it's cool too, because like I've lived my life. I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything. Again, not that you are missing out on anything if you're a young mom, because being a mom in my experience is the best thing ever. I wouldn't trade it for anything. Um, and having, you know, a kid in their twenties, you get a longer lifetime with them. Cause the only thing that I think about, and I have to stop this cause this is my only intrusive thought at the moment is like, I'm not gonna be around when she's like 40, you know? But maybe I will, like what? I get, I get 75, like what am I? So I have to stop those thoughts immediately because I get like, I don't I don't get all this time with her, but I will, I will get all this time with her. So, and also just make every moment you do have with them count. Um, but if I heard stories so many times on TikToks that helped me believe in myself that I could have a baby. So many people were in the same boat. I saw the story where they adopted like six kids and then like 10 years later they got pregnant with their first child and they didn't think they could get pregnant. I saw another one which had like three grown adult sons. They were all in their 20s and then boom got pregnant like in her late 40s with a, a little girl. I see that all the time. There's another guy that had like five daughters and like got pregnant and they had twins. Like there's just like crazy stuff crazy stories like that that happen all the time and I think like that's why I'm so adamant about sharing my story and I repeat myself a lot about sharing what I've gone through because I just want to give hope because there is it does happen and we did do the HSG test which is it's not an invasive invasive say those one strong it's not invasive at all it's just like a test where they shoot liquid through you to see if your how your tubes are doing ultimately it does kind of clear your tubes out and they say like 90 percent of uh women get pregnant after those tests like i said i got one done in like 2018 in a previous relationship and like it, it never happened for me um and then we did it this time and literally like that same cycle i got pregnant like really quick like it was our first month like in weeks i was pregnant it was crazy. It was the most shocking thing in my life. So, um, yeah, I get, I, you know, even if you're not super spiritual or religious or believe in a higher power, I think if one thing we can all kind of agree on is like the universe, like kind of brings us what we need, right? Like, and again, like I say the universe and you could use that synonymously with God or source or, you know, whatever your higher being is, but you have to admit there is some, there's some magic in this world, right? Like I always think like even how life is created, how this world is created, whether you believe in the Big Bang Theory or God, it's all kind of like a pow, like out of nowhere. And there is something that sparked that. There's a force behind it. There is something. So, you know, use your words wisely to yourself and to others. What you put out there, I totally feel you'll get back. And I think like it, it works, like it just works. And you know what? Like it works in everything, being positive, love, all that stuff. It does. Because for so long, I said, I'm not deserving of love. I'll never find someone. I'll never. And you guys have watched me for years say that. So, like, this is out on the internet. And the minute I changed my, like, mindset and was like, no, I'm deserving of love. I'm deserving of this. Um, everything changed. And now I have this perfect baby. Oh. Are you kidding me right now? This is, this is a really great stage. This is amazing. Like past the one month, all of a sudden she has just been so calm. Like she has always been calm, but now she like gets up, feeds, goes back to sleep. It used to be like more of an ordeal. Like you have to stay up with them and you know, with her and all stuff like that. Like angel baby, you are. And she is the ultimate manifestation. Oh, are we getting up? Are we getting up? Oh, goodness. It's Saturday. We're still in our pajamas. Papa's coming home with food. We're going to have a family lunch together. This is the best. <laughs> it is the best. <laughs> we'll be here up again. Bye, guys. Anyways, I hope this helped. I don't know. I'm, I, I really do believe in manifesting, visualizing. Like, it works. Sometimes it works really fast. Sometimes it takes some time, but it works. So, hey, are you being so cute right now? I swear, sometimes like what? I swear she's just like, no, she's being cute. Do you know you're being cute? Or you don't even have to try. She doesn't have to try. She's just like, I am cute. 
Okay, so I'm like editing that manifesting video. And I forgot to mention another really big visual thing, like tangible thing that helps manifest or help us manifest. So you see, I have a lot of, we call these in the Midwest tchotchkes. That's what we called them growing up, but you know, little thingamabobs or figurines or just, I don't know, some people could call it clutter, junk, whatever, but we like little things. I like things, right? And obviously my husband, when he first started, we noticed I liked these things. So downstairs we have a house with the, with like a diamond. I'll show you guys in a second, but that was like the first thing we got or he got me. It was like a month before, like it's around Thanksgiving time. So we hadn't put an offer on the house yet. We were like almost on like the verge of like, I don't know if we're going to stay together or what are we going to do? Um, and it was like a month before we got engaged, but it was like a house, like literally a house that looks like ours with like our same balcony. And it has like a diamond in there. It was like a diamond store, but it looked like our house. And then I got engaged or we got engaged, <laughs> got married, all that stuff like that. Well then fast forward to a year, we're in this beautiful house. We love it. And um, he finds another one of these little like thingamabobs. So this is the thing he found um, last Christmas. And we have it up all year round. It says Merry Christmas, but we have it up all year round. It lights up and stuff. But he got it because there was kids playing. Now, I don't know if that means we're going to manifest. How many kids are there? There's, oh, actually, there's only like three kids and the rest look like adults. So maybe it's going to manifest our three kids. I know it worked because he said he got it because it had kids, kids playing. And like, that's what we wanted last year was a baby. And we got our baby. So that was just like one thing that I thought was like pretty cool and we always have it. So maybe there'll be, you know, two more kids. Okay, so this is our balcony. It's like very like round and like looks out. Okay. And this is the one he had got me the year before. And you can see it has that same sort of like round balcony and see the diamond right there. <laughs> so basically he was telling me, he was like foreshadowing like the, the engagement but like the fact that this was like the house that we ended up getting which we didn't think we'd be able to get and there's like little diamond rings like this is obviously supposed to be like a diamond store but it looks like our house which is like so crazy to me so but like yeah basically when we got engaged I was like the house the ring like that's so crazy it's almost like you manifested it and he was like yeah I was like trying to hint at the engagement and I was like Oh. Like at that point, I didn't know for sure if we were like gonna get engaged. It was kind of one of those things where we were at in life. We're like, okay, do we buy a house and like do the whole shebang? Like buying a house, in my opinion, because I'm married with a child, is like the greatest commitment ever. A baby is actually the biggest commitment. Marriage, yeah, it's a commitment, but it's, it's not like a house. Like marriage, you can just kind of like go your separate, do you know what I mean? Like <laughs> not go your separate ways, but like yeah, you could like, you know, but usually you're like sharing a space together if you're just, you know what I mean? I don't know. Does that make sense? I don't know what I'm saying. Anyways, but I thought that was cool. And I thought that's like another thing to like manifest, but anyways, that is my manifesting tips. Although there's one more book I want to show you guys. I've showed this before. I talked about it before, but let me show you. <sighs> running up these stairs, running up these stairs. This is like my ASMR studio. It was my walk-in closet, but now it's my ASMR studio because that's that's what it is until we find another space to do it. But this is my little manifestation corner. I sit right here on this floor in the mornings. Just close my eyes. This is my gratitude journal at the moment. I have so many, but that's my current one. And then this is a really good one for manifesting. It's called Magic, The Magic. I read it twice. It's amazing. I also am reading The Power Now again. And getting through this one, you are stronger than you think. And look, another book of gratitude. Actually, I haven't found this one in a while, so I should reread some of my gratitudes because this is from last year. But yeah, those are all the books for manifesting. So I hope you enjoyed this video manifesting. Manifest wisely, speak words into existence wisely, and um, yeah, let the magic of the world bless us all.